Shalom. Call Lim La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Akakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, the UNT 12, holy, hopeful, let sincere Shalom. To the house of David, the one third is tuning in, preaching the truth to all the truth and sincerity. Now, there's three main topics of this video. You got uh, this new chat GBT app where Jake is um typing in their names and great millstone and the chat GBT is popping up the information. Like I seen this one the one brother he put his name in there and it talked about his him and his page and what he's about as a Hebrew Israelite man. So Esau has all the data that he wants to uh come after um the Israelites. Because all they're Esau's coming after after us all, man. It doesn't matter if you got hundred percent truth fifty you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter if Esau's coming after all all of Jake. Now of course the ones that have the true doctrine, that has true name, true breakdowns of things, prophecies, who's who are more are a bigger target, so to speak. And uh you also had uh, this this quote unquote assassination attempt on uh, Vladimir Putin but the video where it shows the so called assassination attempt it didn't look like an assassination attempt it just looked like a drone that blew maybe it got like deflected or something right it didn't fall the way through but just looking at the explosion it didn't look like anything credible that looked like some type of you know if it's really trying to take out Putin man it would be like some type of missile or the drone will have more Explosive power, but nonetheless, uh, um, I think it's a suicide drone blew up. And now, Russia is blaming the U.S. And I think they're, I believe I've seen they're threatening with nuclear weapons. And we already know through prophecy, Russia will nuke, will be the main nation to nuke uh, the United States of America. And the main point of this video right here is going to this economic collapse. You have multiple black... Banks going under again and crashing. I think what was it? First Republic Bank uh, hit the curb, and I think J.P. Morgan bottom or something like that. So that's two bank collapse. First uh, was the um, Silicon Valley, which was the second biggest in history, U.S. history, and then you had this one, which is even bigger than the Silicon Valley one. So this place is going down a hill. Um, it's not going to uh, recover. And um, this play, Esau is going to come in with his NWO in the Most High. We'll, uh, we'll stop him. This is uh, Job 20 and 23. When he is about to fill his belly, Esau getting ready to, uh, you know, enjoy his NWO, having people karagmed up. All right. The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he's eating. So you, so you Edomites, these these small hats, and the rest of these elites of the world that are at, at the top, wanting to chip everybody, it's not going to work. It's going to fail miserably. And us of the hopeful elect will be able to make it through those times as the elect Lord's will. This is uh, Ezekiel 33. And um, 33, and it reads, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Because Jake, Jake thinks because it takes, something takes too long, it's not going to appear. This is Romans 3 and 3. Um, for what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbid, yet let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. And it's another one I wanted to get about Jake uh, being basically impatient. With, with these scriptures because you got a lot of jakes that fell out the truth because uh, one of the main things was what uh, the year 2000 uh, the you know the elders the israelites at the time were saying that the world was going to end in 2000 or something like that and then it didn't happen and a lot of jakes fell out because of that man hey man that's that's on them for losing the faith all right because this is a marathon not a sprint so give me a moment to find this uh, scripture that i want to get
I'm probably not going to be able to get it. Lord's will will come to me, but I'm just going to keep moving. Now let's go to the book of, um, let's go to the book of Ephesians, 6th chapter. And verse Ephesians 6 and, and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the, in, in the Most High, how by Shemuel shot, in the power of his might. Put on a whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And this economy is going to crash. It's going to be um, survival of the fittest. It's not going to be uh, everybody being nice to each other and friendly, smiling and waving. No, it's going to be very uh, aggressive, very uh, backstabby. It's not going to be nice. It's going to be people going around. They're, they feel like they're more stronger than you. They're going to come up to you, you know, beat you up, do what they got to do. And take your stuff, man. Take your clothes, take your food. Real sinister. They may, you know, try to violate you. Or they, they may just eat you. They may cannibalize you. they real wicked, man. And that's what Jake and these people aren't prepared for. You see, you got Esau. You know, uh, it was Esau appeared to be an Edomite choking out a, what appeared to be a Jake on the subway with a Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Esau, the majority of those people that's training that stuff, like just casually, is, is, is Edomites, man. Jake really not in those uh, learning these martial arts like that, like on some casual stuff, not trying to make money off of it. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Because when, when this, this evil day comes, man, a lot of jakes, the majority of jakes is going to get caught um, slipping. They're going to get caught lacking. It's not going to be, uh, uh, the doors of mercy is going to be closed on their face. You know, Jake, especially these women, man, they want to get right at the, um, at the last moment. And it, it's not going to work like that. That's not how the Most High operates. And it's, it's, it, we're right at the door of this place <laughs> completely crashing, man. We All these banks crashing back to back. The economy's going down, man. They're coming out with the, uh, the Fed now, I think July 1st. Coming out with the Fed now or June. I think it's July 1st, Fed now. It, this place is done. And a, anybody that thinks... Uh, you know, Jake, Jake out here, oh man, it's 50 years from now. No, <laughs> it's happening in your face. And the Most High has blinded you to reality. You're delusional. You're delu There's a strong delusion uh, on Israel because of the Most High. The Most High did that. Let's, get, let's go on to that. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And it reads, actually, let me scroll up, verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved to two thirds. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. So Jake, uh, verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's Jake, that's these two thirds. They're, um, they, they take pleasure in wickedness, man, especially these women. They, they enjoy being under these, these devils. Is Isaiah 33 and 6, and it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the, the stability of thy times and strength of salvation for the fear of Yahweh is its treasure. And don't, uh, this, this economic collapse, this, um, uh, the Babylonian economy crashing is not going to, uh, fully cause Jacob's trouble, man. It's only, because you know, you got people saying that the U.S. economy, uh, collapsing is going to cause the whole entire world. No, it's not. Because people are already dropping the U.S. dollar now. So it's not. When a U.S. dollar uh, is worthless, it's not going to cause um, full-on survival of the fittest in Cambodia. The Philippines, no, it's not. Now, here in America, of course, right? But Jacob's trouble will be a worldwide event because Jake, Jacob has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. This is um, Zephaniah 1 and... Uh, Verse 10, it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. Alright, so that's talking about uh, the economic collapse, because this economy is collapsing. 
gonna be hyperinflation. Uh, let's go into Revelation six because with this uh, hyperinflation and everything that's going on, that's connected to that, is going to be very, very expensive to to survive by working a job, and people, particularly men, are gonna be fed up with that, and they're gonna take uh, arms up to their, you know, take up weapons and go around and take because. The man of a role is to provide and protect, right? And another role of a man is to, to hunt and to kill. And a role of woman is to be subservient to a man. And those roles have been skewered through uh, feminism, all right, this Babylonian juice, all right, westernization, right? But once this uh, hyperinflation, this, this capitalist, capitalist society crumbles, men are going to revert back to that stage. The majority of men are just going to die because they're, you know, they're, they're effeminate, they're weak. And um, women, they're just going to die because men aren't going to take that BS from them, man. They're going to have their way with them, put them in a sex trafficking, all that. That's how it's going to be out here. And Jake not prepared. Jake Jake thinks this never going to Jake thinks this is not going to happen in his lifetime, man. Jake Jake thinks this is going to happen when <laughs> Jake be making up some BS because they're in their feelings. They're in their feelings, man. They don't use, they're not, they, it's not even understanding the scriptures, man, because there's heathens that don't even understand the scriptures, and they understand that this economy is going down the drain. It's the Most High has has blind, they're blinded, right? They, uh, they, they, the Elohim have blinded them, all right? That strong delusion, Who? how did the Most High send that strong delusion? Through the Elohim, the angels, man, they put it, put it on them so they can't get it. This is Revelation 6 and 6. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And a penny is going to concordance. I believe it's the denarius. Uh, Let's confirm that. All right. The denarion. All right. Or the uh, the um, the denarius. All right. Which means containing tin. And it means uh, a Roman silver coin in New Testament time. It took its name from it, it being equal to 10 asses, all right? So you could buy, what, 10 donkeys with a Daenerys, all right? Because that's what an ass is, a donkey or a, a mule, one to the other. Because a mule is a donkey mixed with a, a horse. And it, uh, I believe it means like a day's wage is a Daenerys. Let's keep reading. All right, so it reads, from the parable of the labors in the vineyard, it would seem that Daenerys was then the ordinary pay for a day's wages. So a day's wage, so average American makes about, what, 100? Let's do the math. I think it was like 700 a week, right? So 700 divided by 5, $140. So for you to feed yourself for a day will be like, what is that? Let's reread it. A measure of wheat for a penny. So what is a measure of wheat? I think that's like a full day's uh, measure goes into, I believe. Let's just read it. A dry measure containing four kotle uh, or two satari, right? Or as much as would support a man of moderate appetite for a day. All right. So you, you're going to work an eight hour shift just to feed yourself. For a day, your whole entire paycheck will go out um, just for food, not not uh, insurance, not your phone bill, not a uh, hell water, um, all that. So you're going to spend one hundred forty dollars just to eat for that day. So what you going to do on the weekends? Right. See, that's what Jake, uh, Jake, these heathens, they going to get fed up. And you know, the preppers that got their, you know, their own little stuff, which is cool, whatever. They, they going to come after them preppers, man. Especially with them preppers, loose lip, loose lip, sink ships. They talking about, oh, I got a, a two year supply of freeze dried pasta in my basement. Yeah, man, and, and, and you told that to your cousin. Hey, man, your cousin might just pull up on you and kill you for that food. And that's in the scriptures. Let's get that. It's going to get real grimy out here. 
know it's in the book of Matthew. This is Mark 13 and 12. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. So let's go to the book of Matthew 10. And, um... Verse 21, in the reason the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father of the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And we're, we're entering those times right now. And especially when this food gets real uh, scarce. That's in this, I think that's in 2nd Ezra um, 16. Where it talks about for the lack of bread. Because not only is the, not only is, um, food going to be so expensive there's going to be a food shortages man this is second Ezra 16 I think it's 16 it might be 15 let's see second Ezra 16 and um yeah second Ezra 16 and uh actually no it's not what I wanted Second Ezra 15 and 9. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of grain and for great tribulation. So it's not gonna it's gonna be survival of the fittest, man. You're gonna have men grouping up deep, as deep as they can get, go around pillaging and plundering for booty. And booty just means resources, man. It doesn't mean a woman's behind which will be a resource <laughs> that will be a resource because you're gonna have the uh, sex sex uh, trafficking and that already that's already happening now and just imagine how much is going to increase in those days man they'll have women tied up somewhere offer up their bodies for an hour for for some food it's going to get real real gnarly real gnarly and the only people that's going to comfortably right hand side make it through this is the elect you will have these elites in their bunkers make it through it but guess what they're going straight into captivity so they're just getting ripe and plump <laughs> to, to, to be a slave I'm going to end this off in uh, Psalms 10 uh, verse verse 4 the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high the most high is not in all his thoughts his ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are, are far above out of his sight. And as for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing, deceit, and fraud, and under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Alright? And that's how these Edomites feel. And even Jake feel that way, man. They don't think that uh, it's going to be a, a, apocalyptic, looking out apocalyptic out here because they're scared. You know, when they, when, when you, you got to understand when you're talking to people, you got to understand what they're, how, the reason why they say certain things. If you talking to somebody and they say they don't believe it can be, and even just something bad happening to them, that, that prove, what is it called? Norm, it's a normalcy bias, but behind that normalcy bias is fear. It's fear, especially if they have their little man or, you know, disabled or, they lack in some department, right? Physically, financially, mentally, they lack. That fear is increased. And that's it for this lesson. Lord's will is edifying. And I say shalom to the next time, Lord's will.